Okay, so now that you've got this clip ready to post, you're going to add uh, you know, a couple sentences of your own content so you have something that's unique and not just a duplicate uh, piece of content you just clip from somewhere else. So you'll write a couple sentences, which I'll do right now. Okay, so I wrote uh, a great article on doing keyword research, which is an important step in getting top ranking in Google. Read the complete article for more info. So now what I want to do is I want to link a keyword to my content. So let's say, for example, um, I wanted to link this to my um, how to get uh, multiple listings on page one of Google Hub page. So what I would do is, let me go back here. Okay, so let's say I want to uh, link the keywords getting top ranking in Google. And I want to link that to this URL. So what I need is the, pay, the URL of this page. So I just go over here and grab that. And then, then you'll see that there's this, um, it doesn't allow HTML, it uses BB code. Now what BB code is, is um, like basically if you've ever been in a forum, there's a certain way to uh, hyperlink uh, text in, in uh, you know, PHP BB or these other bulletin board forums. And if you click on this link right here, it's going to pull up a little window. And this little window explains how BB code for linking works. And what it is, is you basically have this, um, if you want to hypertext the keywords some text, you have to put it between uh, these little brackets with the tag URL, blah, blah, blah. So what I do is you just copy this, okay, and then just close this thing, and then go over here, and whatever keyword you want to uh, hyperlink, just paste that in, and then just substitute the URL that you want to link to, and the text you want to link. So in this case, I want to I want to uh, take this getting top ranking in Google text. So I'm going to put that here where this sum text is. Okay, And then the URL is going to be the page URL of the hub page. So I would take this uh, Yahoo URL, which is just an example, and from the HTTP colon to the end of the bracket, I go ahead and put that in there. Okay, And now what you can do is click on this style options link and check the don't include clip marks logo and link, which I like to do, and then you can save these settings into your account, and that's the only time you'll have to do that, um, and then just click done. And you can make it look different. I don't bother with any of that stuff. And then what you can do is click preview to see how it's going to look. When you preview it, which you, is a very important step, because before you go and post this thing, uh, you're going to want to preview it. So anyway, um, if you preview it, here's the title I wrote, here's a couple sentences I wrote, Here's the stuff I clipped. It's got a link to the original article. It's got uh, you know the whole the permalink, all that stuff. And the point is that this hyperlink, getting top ranking in Google, this keyword phrase, if you look down here in the status bar, and I roll over that, you can see down here when I roll over, I can't do it at the same time, but you see it says hub page is how to get multiple. So it's linking to my hub page. Okay. So as long as it looks like that, that it's actually hyperlinked, and you can see by rolling over it where it's going to go, and it's going to the right place, you want to test all that, then you're ready to do the clip to uh, blog uh, thing. So you just close this pre preview, and then just click the post to blog. And when you click that button, what's going to happen is it's going to show you, it says, it says here, this clip has been posted to your blog. You can see it over here. And to add, remove, or edit your blog accounts, you can click on what, you know, all this other stuff. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the blog first. So hold on one second. So here's my thematic.wordpress.com blog I created. And you can see here that my first blog entry is now the exact thing that I just clipped from Clipmarks. And I have a link now going from this external thing going to my hub page. Now, you do this over and over again, the different uh, things, and you're going to have a whole bunch of inbound links coming from external blogs into your hub page, Squiddo, and using articles. Those will in turn be linking into your site, and all the page rank is going to increase, and it's all going to be theme relevant. Pick this up in the next video.